here now to talk more about this very disturbing case. I'd like to welcome in Misty Maris, legal analyst and trial attorney. Uh, Misty, the details of this are so hard to hear, and, and I know we're really just getting a snippet. Do you think it's a wise choice for Gregor to take the stand? You know, Nicole, I've thought about this a lot because that video is so disturbing and it truly speaks for itself. So what I believe is happening from the defense perspective is basically a Hail Mary, that this video cannot be the only thing that the jury sees and hears about when it comes to Gregor from the defense perspective, and that essentially they're basically in a situation where his testimony uh, is is a last resort type of determination. And I say that because this video is just so difficult to watch and then compounded with evidence that there had been so many reports to Child Protective Services that went uh, unanswered. And so with that, the only way for the defense to really put up a case is to hear from Gregor himself and see if what explanation could possibly pose to the jury? Absolutely. And, Miss, you know, I, I hate to even honestly watch that video. It is so disturbing. What are the most damning elements of this case from your perspective? Well, so the most damning uh, elements really, really relate to what we just can see with our own eyes. The jury is going to see that video, and I guarantee you it will be such an important part of the closing arguments when all is said and done. And then, of course, the prosecution is going to build the timeline surrounding uh, the, the death of this young boy in accordance with the allegations of abuse and this video, uh, which clearly shows the, him falling on his face multiple times just in this one video. Now, part of the defense is very, very focused on technical medical expert testimony. And they're going to have a very renowned forensic pathologist testify that the, the death of the son was actually complications from pneumonia at, that, that led to sepsis. So they're going to try and attack causation. But I think that when you have a juror go into that jury deliberation room and you say, don't leave your common sense at the door, mm -hmm. you look at this video and you look at the meds and I think you're going to see jurors who are going to make a connection between the two. You know, and here I want to ask you really to give us your opinion on this, because, you know, you've talked about the strategy uh, from his defense team here. We know, you know, Rich just mentioned the fact that Gregor turned down this 30 year plea deal. You know, as a trial attorney, does that surprise you? Well, 30 years, it's obviously a significant period of time. And very clearly, what the defense is doing is just uh, betting on maybe one or two jurors. You know, in a case like this, I think it's really unlikely to see an acquittal. But if you can get one or two jurors to maybe question that medical causation argument and say the prosecutors didn't fulfill this beyond a reasonable doubt, well, then you get a hung jury. And that, quite frankly, from the defense perspective, is a victory. And also, Nicole, I'm, I don't want to put the carpet for the horse because he has he will be testifying mm -hmm. we don't know what he's going to say so to the extent that there's something that comes up in his testimony that could maybe again speak to a juror to hang this jury that's certainly where the defense is going with this case you know, and I just, I just want to zoom out a little bit here misty because in my last question to you i mean child abuse cases are so tough for people to process. And we are outside of the courtroom and it's hard for us uh, to, to look at uh, the evidence, to, to watch the video, to see those pictures. Do you think that will work against Gregor, you know, regardless of whether or not he is found guilty? Absolutely, because the imagery in this case is just so disturbing. It's hard not to have tears in your eyes just watching it on video, on television, much less actually being in that jury box and seeing this as part of the evidence of the case of a death of a young innocent boy. So certainly the jury, that imagery is going to stick with them. And just to think about the fact that this is uh, such a severe child abuse case, the allegations are so severe, and also just the failures of CPS or the government to step in and conduct proper investigations, all of that is going to compound, and that's going to go against the defense. Yeah, we will certainly see what happens. Misty Maris, uh, excellent input as always. Thank you. Thank you.